In the last episode of our Champions Cape miniseries, we faced the Earth Warrior Champion. This time around, we'll be going into the wild in order to obtain this Hobgoblin Champion Scroll. So for those that don't know, the Champion's Cape is basically a cosmetic item where you've done this mini game where you're facing 11 different champions in the Champion's Guild. Now, in order to defeat the 11 champions, you need to first find the 10 Champion Scrolls from different mobs around Gilinor. These Champion Scrolls are dropped at a rate of 1 out of 5,000, making this pretty rare to obtain. Like I said before, there are 10 different variations that you have to go after with their own combat restrictions depending on what you're doing of who you're facing so to go through them all there's the imp goblin skeleton zombie giant hobgoblin ghoul earth warrior joger lesser demon so those are the 10 you need to face and then you face the champion of all champions i'm assuming his name is a leon and you face off to see who is victorious. So let's get into the inventory and gear setup. For my gear, I'm going to the wild, so I'm only bringing items of which I'm assuming I'm not gonna be sculled, I'm willing to lose them. Also, I've turned off player attack options, that way I can't get skull tricked. So for our gear setup, we have a blessed Jihad Coif, we have Necklace of Anguish, Ava's Assembler, because I have like 30 of them in the bank, Rada's Blessing 4 for the prayer, Blowpipe with Addy Darts, because Addy Darts are really cost effective, and hobgoblins are really low in HP, so we're going to be using those. Black Dehyde uh, Chaps and Body, Black Dehyde Van Braces, Snakeskin Boots, and Archer's Ring Imbued for that extra range offensive. For my inventory setup, it really depends on how long I was going for, but I'd say if you want to stay there for an extended period of time, uh, bring in 6 Divine Ranging Potions, 8 Serdom Brews, and five super restores. You can bring Blighted because they are cheaper. You can only use them in the wilderness, so that might be the better choice for you if you wanna save a little bit of cash. But you know, super restores are fine as well. It depends on how much money you wanna save. 5,000 cannonballs, I thought that was a really good amount. You can bring more, but again, if you get PK'd, you could run into some trouble with losing out. Cannon, of course, two anglers, royal sleep pod for getting out, and then the teleport to house to getting into the wild. So the easiest way to get there is having a Wilderness Opelisk in your POH. You need to go to the level 27 one, so we're going to select destination. We're going to click the level 27, and then we're going to teleport. We're going to enter it. So you are right by the Rev Cave, so just be aware of that you will run into some PKers. Usually they just kind of leave you be because you're just getting absolutely dogpiled by these hobgoblins, so you can kind of like box or in a way just get out really easily i've never died here and i got i tried to get pk'd like a couple of times actually so now that you're here these hobgoblins are all going to be around this mine and you're going to set up your cannon in this square right here so we're just going to set it up really really easy you can already see that they're already attacking you because they are aggressive but since we're going to put down a cannon they're always going to be aggressive because they're always good they're always going to be you know shot at and everything so uh, I have auto retaliate on, so I'm going to stand on this square right here because at this space, like this square of a distance, I can refill my cannon. So there you go. Have a whole bunch of them nearby. You're only going to deal with one at a time. Some of them get caught up here. Cannon's going to hit a whole bunch of them up there. Also, uh, people down here can get stuck as well. And you're looking at about, I think it's 1200 if I remember correctly. It's like 1200 to 1300. Uh, kills an hour so that's pretty massive and uh, obviously if you don't really pay attention like you just strictly just go by cannon and auto retaliate you're looking at like a thousand kills per hour so it really isn't too bad here in regards to going for that champion scroll as you can see like look at that like the cannon's just absolutely destroying and just flinging around cannonballs everywhere and just so much damage output so highly recommend you may want to bring more cannonballs again up to you if you want to lose it or not but that is uh, how you get there and that's how you do this spot actually of course one more thing is you are almost at level 30 wild so you're going to use the royal seed pod to get out really really easy you just walk like five squares south and you're good to go that's that's really it boys all right roll the clip it took me, I don't know, about uh, 10,000 KC, but we got the Hobgoblin Champion Scroll Team. We have finally accomplished what we were looking for. I don't know why I just did it like that. Kind of reminded me of, uh, I don't know, something, but uh, we're out of here, boys. We got the uh, Champion Scroll. On to what we need to do, as we all know. I did this in four sessions. 
And uh, it took only, boys, it only took me uh, 11,000, where the heck is it? There it is. It took me 11,001, uh, sorry. Jesus, man, I can't read numbers. 11,362, this is what it took. I did not get PK'd once, some guy did tell you block me, and then I just boxed a goblin, so... <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the end of that. Let's actually get into it now. This is your champion. <laughs> All right, boys, we have been called, so we must go and fight this Hobgoblin champion. What's up, Larxus? We uh, saw you last time. I'll just read this really quick. Yeah, 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 we need to fight you, blah, 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 blah. Here you go. Yes, I want to wanna get at him. So the only thing is, boys, is that it says that you can only use ranger magic. So my question is, can I set up a cannon down here? Like, I'm actually, like, really curious. Can I do that? Oh, my God, you can. You can place down a cannon down here. <laughs> I want to kill him with my cannon. <laughs> I'm actually gonna kill him with a cannon, dude. That it's <laughs> this the dumb stuff in my game that I do, man. <laughs> Boom. Oh, you defeated the Hobgoblin champion, 232 Slayer XP and hit points. Let's go. <laughs> and then we're going to go over to the Wall of Defeated Champions. And uh, we have here, what do we have? What do we have? We have the All of the Left Side, Left Side, Jesus Christ, I can't talk. All of the Left Side filled up. We have the Earth Warrior, uh, Ghoul, Hill Giant, Goblin, Hobgoblin. And then over here with Joger and Skeleton. We only need three more boys and we're good to go. Let's see what our reward is for defeating the Hobgoblin Champion. We get 2320 for Slayer and Hit Points XP. Anything else in here? Oh, I forgot to collect my Joger one from before. Oh well, boys. I guess I was behind. What? Skeleton one too. Okay. Okay, proceed. All right. <laughs> Getting all of them. All right, boys, that's the end of this video, and uh, hope you had a good laugh with the cannon being used, because I certainly did. <laughs> Let's get into the outro. Boys, we are walking in on the outro right now, and right now we have ourselves the channel membership supporters. We gotta thank them. Every single month, these guys have been dedicating themselves to support this channel, and we got some special individuals to call out who they are. Z Kenzel, Avery Lee, Parth Patel, David Bell, Trekkie Tech, and our newest member, I'll give you the shout out, my guy, Waba Jetta. Thank you so much, guys, for joining the channel memberships program. Do appreciate it. And my name's Shingle Muffin. I'm signing out. Please enjoy this outro.